All right guys, what up everybody? So today I'm gonna talk about mistakes new riders make guys and how to avoid all that so the biggest mistake new riders make guys the biggest mistake panicking guys you cannot panic i know you guys have seen people grab the throttle and now the bike goes flying that's called whiskey throttle guys so what you want to avoid doing is freaking out and panicking guys a lot of new riders do that that's why i tell you guys to start out on something that you can grow on and learn on so i've talked about panic braking in the past freaking out and just grabbing the brakes the brakes on this bike are brembo brakes so they're gonna work as soon as i touch them i'm gonna stop on a dime this brake right here the front brake is how like almost like every new rider crashes from grabbing the brakes at the wrong time Never grab, progressively increase the brakes, guys. So you wanna learn to be smooth, guys, be smooth. On a beginner level bike, it allows you to make some of those mistakes and not cost you your life for an accident. Another thing too with panicking is, if you guys are new riders, things out here move really fast, you know, and if you, sometimes you don't have time, you rely on those, uh, those skills. I always get people asking me, Hey man, can I start out on a 600? Can I start out on 1000? I'm not, look, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying that if you guys wanna learn to be a good rider and actually like progress and get better, you're better off starting on a smaller bike. Like it could be any bike too. It doesn't, it could be a, it could be a uh, cruiser. It could be a bike like this. But if you're gonna start out on a bike like this, get like a 300 or a 400, you know, same thing with that bike. Start out on something you're comfortable with. If you are scared of the bike, and you're not focused on actually learning and you're distracted by how powerful the bike is or how heavy the bike is, I guarantee you, you're more likely to panic when you get out in the mix of things. And what I mean by the mix is out in traffic and you start, you know, you start getting around cars. And that's a big, big reason why people crash these bikes. I'm getting used to these boots as you just saw right there, shifted into a neutral by accident. Another thing I wanted to talk about guys and I got five things on this list I'm gonna talk about today that was the first thing the next thing is try and avoid riding in people's blind spots guys honestly I just advise you to stay away from cars the key thing is try and put yourself in a position where you can be seen you never want to be riding in someone's blind spot be in a position where they can see you guys. And that's why I like exhaust, man, because if they can hear you, I guarantee you they're probably gonna see you. A lot of new riders, what they like to do is they like to blame everybody else, man. Assume everybody else is, assume, like this guy right here. This guy's trying to get over, man. You gotta assume stuff like that, like this right here. See, you gotta assume the worst, man. I always assume everyone's gonna do dumb stuff. I don't trust anybody out here, I never do. But I guarantee you, that's why I'm still riding today. Be aware of your surroundings. You should always be checking in your mirrors too. I'm checking in my mirrors, what's going on behind me, what's going on to the right of me, in front of me. You never know what people are gonna do. And you know, if they can see you, they're more likely probably not to hit you. But even if you see that they see you, still assume that they don't see you. But if you guys notice, there's no way that people can't see us. I mean, he's on a he's on a white bike. I'm on a white bike. I got white gear. You guys are laughing at me for this mohawk, man, but everybody seems to notice it. I'm not telling you to buy a mohawk, but what I am telling you to do is anytime you ride, do everything you can to be seen. Wait, did you see that guy right there? Did you notice what he was wearing? He was wearing a yellow jacket. There's no way I'm not gonna notice that. Wear reflective stuff, wear things that stand out. All right guys, so that's gonna bring me to the next thing. Wear the proper gear, man, wear the proper gear. I'm wearing a full suit. Do you need a full suit? No, I'm not saying get a full suit. I just personally wanted one, but what you do need, number one, let's start out with, you need a helmet, you know? Make sure it's DOT approved, dot approved. If you see his helmet right there, it says DOT. That means that that's a DOT approved helmet. You at least want a DOT approved helmet. And if you can, take it a step further, get a Snell approved helmet. Arai makes good helmets, Showy, Bell, companies like that. You're gonna need gloves too. Just standard gloves. These are gauntlet gloves. I got them because I have a suit and I need them, but 
Um, make sure you guys get gloves. Those are important. And as you guys see, I have a jacket. You're going to need a jacket as well. Good companies that make gear. Alpine Stars is pretty good, but they're kind of expensive. You don't really need to get them. You can get, you know, whatever you want. Sadichi is pretty good. They make good stuff. If you guys want a little bit cheaper gear, but still really good, Joe Rocket makes good stuff too. So look at those brands and see what they make and everything. But just don't ride without gear, man. Do not do that. Are we doing a U-turn? You guys need to protect your legs too. What you're gonna need is something called riding jeans. Yes, riding jeans. They're not the same, they look the same, but they're different. They have padding in them, and sometimes they're made out of like Kevlar. This guy's checking out our bikes. He really likes that Harley. They shouldn't be too expensive, but they're made out of Kevlar. They're thicker than normal jeans. They're reinforced with padding, so you know, they protect you a little bit more. And then the last thing you're gonna need, the proper footwear. I've only broken one thing on my body, and that's my foot. I did it on a dirt bike, but I wasn't wearing the proper footwear, and I broke my foot. If you don't get riding boots, I suggest you get at least steel toe boots and you should be okay from there But I recommend get, getting riding boots. These things are gonna protect you <laughs> Big mistake that I made was riding without gear You guys have my word man. I will never ride without the proper gear again but, You know, I get it though. I get it. Trust me, man I spent all my money on my bike and my mom's and I was like man, I'm broke <laughs> Another mistake that people do, after you buy a bike, right? I know you're excited, you wanna ride it. I, know, I get that. Before you actually go ride, ride, almost everything on this bike is adjustable. The clip-ons, the clutch, you can adjust the brake. You don't wanna have to grab at it, you know? You can adjust the suspension, your seat height, all that stuff. So make sure your bike's properly adjusted. And as I just mentioned, you guys are gonna need gear. Well, after you get gear, especially if you have a full suit, you're way less mobile. I moved my foot pegs back about like this much, and that was a huge difference for me I adjusted the gear selector too I probably need to readjust it again this is like my first ride ride of the year so I'm still getting used to everything first adjustment you should make in my opinion is adjust your clutch that's the first thing I did when I bought this bike the guy that had this bike before me he burnt out the clutch and I was like why would you burn out the clutch it's like a brand new bike like it was only like two or three years old didn't have that many miles on I was like what the heck like you shouldn't burn out the clutch what happened I rode it one time and I was like okay I know what happened the clutch cable was way too tight so it was like nearly impossible to not ride the clutch out like every time i would shift gears the friction zone was way too far out and the last thing i have on my list today guys when you start riding right make sure you guys develop good habits develop good habits man good habits like foot positioning, body positioning, all kinds of stuff. And it's important that you guys are doing it right, especially from the beginning. If you guys are new riders, start out slow. Baby steps, guys. It's like you don't walk before you crawl. You crawl before you walk, right? So do it the right way. When you're a new rider, that's actually the most important because you don't know anything yet. You're kind of soaking it all in. So make sure you start out doing the right thing. Get a, get a bike you can learn and grow on, have fun on. You know, it doesn't have to be super slow, but just something that where you're not going to turn the throttle and you're going to be in the ditch or whatever. This is my first street bike, but this is not my first motorcycle. I would not have gotten this as a first motorcycle motorcycle because they're just they're just it's just not a good idea the thing about creating good habits guys sometimes you don't have a whole lot of time to think so you're relying on those reactions and those habits that I told you guys need to be building another habit too guys that you want to get into you want to keep your head and eyes up at all times start doing that early on wherever you look to is where you're gonna go. So if you guys are new riders and you wanna learn more about how to not crash, I highly suggest that you guys watch this video over here. If you guys aren't subscribed, consider doing that because that's the kind of content I make. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.